What I understand about the change is not about uh, the change per se, or that there is one particular reason for bringing it. It's all about personal vendetta. Somebody don't wake up because you want to show that, yes, you are not the president. So they will deliberately find a way to put up a, a fire between two ethnic groups. When they fight, they will go and dodge. Meanwhile, they are the one that started it too. The coup, the coup that started all this problem. Go and check uh, Adele Mogul's uh, uh, book, Why We Struck. It was organized by the Europe, but they are shifting it to the Ibos. That is why they not hate the Ibos, thinking that they are the one that carried out the coup. Maybe there are documents to show that the Ibos were not even in, in, the, in the know. That coup was organized to, to free a world over from Calabar prison. Wahala. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by. My people, in this particular video, Barista Darlington exposed Tunubu, telling us Tunubu's motive behind the change of national anthem. Mm -hmm. My people, this video is a must watch because Barista Darlington went deep into history, like telling us everything that happened years ago, especially this coup. They said that it was carried out. I remember last year when they did a presidential election and then they declared a Tunubu uh, winner like i came out here i was heartbroken honestly because we were rooting for p2b and we clearly seen that p2b won that presidential election but at the end of the day they declared Tunubu as a winner so i was so so bitter like i was so so heartbroken and uh, I asked, like, what is it that Igbos have done in this country called Nigeria? Because then people were saying, Igbo will never be a president. Igbo will never be a president. So I was asked to really know the reason why, you know, people have this uh, hatred towards Igbo in Nigeria. So some people were saying that it was Igbos that carried that coup that happened in Nigeria. In this particular video, Barry Stadalinton went deep and tell us the reason why that coup even, you know, took place. And people that carried it out, my people, this is a must watch honestly because most of the time we forget history so my people make i not talk too much let me allow you guys to watch the video but before then if today is your first time please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the post notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be the first person to be notified so here we talk about a trending g's politics and everything that is happening in our country called nigeria so my people let's go ahead and watch the video together and i will be right it has been said that the national anthem has been changed the old one has been brought in as the new one then the new one has been regarded as the old one one thing about this thing is that you see i've already told you people about the uh, tunibus administration the what i understand about the change is not about uh, the change per se or that there is one particular reason for bringing it's all about personal vendetta tinubu and obasanjo have been having a running battle over the years they don't agree so anything that obasanjo did tinubu has always found a way to rub it that thing remember when he was the governor i mean tinubu Obasanjo sees his local government fund about 14 billion. And now that Tinubu has got into office, he now sees anything Obasanjo did as a way to get at him. If not, there is no single other reason for removing that uh, national uh, anthem. Because it was the Obasanjo that brought the new one into effect in uh, 1978, before he left office as the military head of state. The question Nigeria should be asking Tinubu. Both the old and the new anthem, what is wrong with them? Tell us that overriding reason, if not for this personal vendetta. And this has been going on among the people from the southwest. It has been there over the years. People are not reading many into all these things. Look at it yourself. It was the southwestern Wole Shanka that stopped Ambassador from becoming the United States uh, United Nations Secretary General. The man was almost, in fact, he has almost gotten the job until Wole Shoenka mounted a campaign all over the world against Obasanjo. And that truncated it. Well, I wonder what should have been the president of this country in 1979. Who, who truncated it? People from the Southwest. You know all of them. People should remember that Wole Shoenka has always criticized, criticized every governor that came in, both military and civilian, including Obasanjo. But ask yourself, why is Wole Shoenka in bed with Tunubu now? 
Does any of you know what is behind it? Eh? All of a sudden, Wolo Shonka is now supporting every evil concerning APC. You ask yourself, what is the reason? It is because of this same hatred I told you about. Eh? It is it's not about old age. People will say celebrity. No, Wolo Shonka knows what he's doing. There has been that uh, age long relationship with the Tunubu and the Wolo Shonka over the years. In fact, at the point, it was reported that Tunubu gave him money. And so, because of that, his conscience has been bought. His conscience has been bought. That is the man you regard as Nobel laureate. Who is supposed, supposed to be the conscience of this, of this nation today? His conscience has been bought. So, everything Tunubu does now is okay. The way Tunubu came into office is okay for him. Let such a thing happen anywhere else. You see, you see Wale Shoenka. So, this is what I'm telling you. Go, go back to history. The reason why these people have not agreed among themselves, it was a cause rendered by Allah Fi Oye. When they betrayed him, he said that they would never agree. The fact why the man was raining the cause, he spread his two hands like this. Through one evil color. I was scripting it all over the place. He said, I do say thing, they scatter, and I saw they go scatter. They would never agree. And as he was saying, it was marching the calabash. And he said that this calabash they scatter, and I saw they go scatter. They would never agree among themselves. They would all quarrel and fight among themselves. Go back to his since that country now. Have they agreed? Have they agreed? The 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 most the most deadly ethnic and intra-ethnic war was fought in this southwest among themselves. I'm talking of a war that like over 1006 uh, uh, intra-ethnic war. 1006 fought in a particular region, the same ethnic group. From Kiriji War to Jabu and the Ba War. Go and check. Eh? These are the same people that are telling you that they know this, they know this. It's not because we have, we have not been given opportunity to go into their history. The Nigeria will know where the problem is coming from. Eh? Each time we want to get to somewhere, it is this people that will truncate it. Remember, Ojuku and uh, uh, I went, uh, the one who went to Aburi to sign an accord. Accord would have saved up from that civil war. And I called that Buri accord. They have already signed. When Gowani came back, it was people from the South that who told Gowani, don't agree, don't agree, don't agree with this accord. No, Ojuku has played you. He has used the person to play you. Don't agree. And because of that, Gowani reneged. And Ojuku said, on a Buri stand. That was what caused the war. That Aburi accord would have saved that. And look at, go and look at that Aburi, Aburi accord. It's what we are going back to today. It's the same thing we are fighting for today, the same restructuring, the same regional autonomy. That was what Ojuku and Gowan agreed in Aburi. When he came back here, the people from the South were the civil, they, they truncated it. They truncated it. Unfortunately, Nigerians have not asked the questions. What is your mission in Nigeria? Whenever we want to move forward, these same people will truncate it. And they will not look for a way to shift it to one particular ethnic group, as if they are the problem. Who brought the Buhari into office? For selfish interest, nothing else. Tunubu said that it is only Buhari that will defeat Jonathan. That was why they brought Then bring him to come and lead, to come and say, no, it was for him to defeat Jonathan because he had popularity in the north. Look at what is going on. Nigerians are not asking questions. I am telling you that if Tunubu have the opportunity, he will remove Baba Sanjo's uh, photograph in Asorok so that he will be the only Yoruba man that has become president of Nigeria. That is how vindictive these people can be. Eh? Obasa just cried that, that uh, 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 Abiola is not the Messiah that Nigeria is waiting for. He said it. Eh? Who truncated Abiola's uh, president? Was it nothing from the same Southwest? Who went to tell uh, 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 Abacha? Don't allow him, don't agree, or don't give him. Eh? Go, go back to his, you can see a record of, a record of infamy. Somebody don't wake up because you want to show that yes, you are not the president. So, and they are even doing among themselves. If people cannot settle among them, how can they settle with you? They will deliberately find a way to put up a, a fire between two ethnic groups. When they fight, they will go and dodge. Meanwhile, they are the one that started it too. The coup, the coup that started all this problem. Go and check uh, Adele Mogu's uh, uh, book, Why We Struck. It was organized by the year, but they are shifting it to the boats. That is why they not to hate the people, thinking that they are the one that carried out the coup. Maybe there are documents to show that the people are not even in the, in the know. 
That coup was organized to, to free a world over from Calabar prison. But now it has become an Igbo coup that made them to be thinking that uh, the Igbo did it, the Igbo did that. We are saying this so that Nigerians will know the truth. Eh? There was no reason to change any national anthem except because it was brought in by it was brought in by uh, Obasanjo, and his kinsman felt that no, it cannot be Obasanjo. It can, it should be me. That's why he brought that thing. I was that if you don't like the two anthem, why can't you ask people to bring a new national anthem since you want to build a new Nigeria? Yeah, that's why he told us the, the, he built a new Lagos. Meanwhile, we could not see anything. We could not see anything that he did in Lagos. Propaganda. So, my people, that is it. I hope you heard everything Barrister Darlington said here. Like, if this is the main reason why Tunubu changed our national anthem, then Tunubu must be a funny man, honestly. Because <laughs> all the problems that we are having in Nigeria right now, the hunger, the suffering, like Nigerians are going through, like they are, we are so, so in here, like so, so hurry. So pass this bill, this is a changing of a uh, national item into law without even involving Nigeria, without even asking them their own opinion. And then now we are talking about a regional government, knowing very well, this is the same suggestion Odumwegwe Juku proposed to Nigeria for discussion in this uh, Aburic Accord, which Nigeria undergone one, dismiss it, my people. And it contributed what led to the civil war. So my people, please, I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about uh, what is happening in Nigeria right now, as well as the regional government people are talking about, and also the changing of uh, our national anthem, and also what uh, Barista Darlington said in this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And if today is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. It's very, very important because if you only subscribe, it will be, you know, once in a while, YouTube will be suggesting my video to you. And also like this video so that uh, YouTube can recommend it to other people to watch as well. Thank you everyone for watching. And also thank you for always, you know, sharing my video. I truly appreciate you all. Yes, my people, I will see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now.